it's Saturday. I am really excited to start today with some thrift shopping. It's been a minute. This store is like my guilty pleasure store. Like I love it, it's big, it has so many good things. I haven't been to this thrift store with Lila, so we'll see. We're kind of cutting it close to nap, so I don't know how this is gonna go. Lila down for a little nappy nap and I'm shoving my face with meatballs so just don't don't mind me here perfect time so if you're from New Jersey you like meatballs even if you don't like meatballs check out Rocco's meatballs I'll leave the Instagram right here they're my family friends literally like blood they do like a bunch of festivals I was working on the truck pre-pregnancy I'm not gonna be on the truck this summer they have like a food truck uh, but my family works with them and they're awesome and they make the best meatballs ever if you like festivals and you like food definitely highly recommend Rocco's quick little Rocco's meatballs ad for you so hungry I'm sorry my cat is in heat right now and um, I feel really bad that we don't have a mate here for her I really want to show you guys what we got at the thrift store today um, I've been waiting to thrift for so long. I was so excited to like wait for a season and then just kind of like go in This is kind of just the start. So all of these pieces are like 350 a piece So just keep that in mind. I got 18 pieces all for around like when I divvy it up It's all like 350 per item. So it was a flipping good Sale. Yeah, I'll do the baby stuff first because it's only a handful. I didn't allow myself to go overboard. I put a lot of stuff back because at first I just like grab whatever I see and then I like will go through it. Because we're not finding out the gender, we've been trying to keep it neutral like grays, beiges, some yellows and greens, and like some blue. But these are brands I haven't heard of before. So these are Rabbit Bear and Emily and Oliver brand. I was thinking cute, just a little beige. I don't have too much beige, so I want to get some beige today. A little rainbow. So cute. Um, and the quality feels really nice. And the onesies were $1.50 each. I love like the balloon pants looks. Whether I have a boy or a girl, like Lila had a few of these too. Um, and I just find them like so comfy and cute. And then this brand I haven't heard of before, um, but it's called Modern Moments. And just got some little gray again kind of like balloony but not really the waist and everything looks like a good size for cloth diapering so i'm like on the fence i'm on the fence about cloth diapering i don't know if it's something that we're gonna do or not um i might just like experiment and see how that goes but i don't really know if it's like sustainable for our lifestyle because of just like driving a lot we're traveling in the car a lot um and I really think that it's like only worth it because the diapers are so expensive if, if like you go all in. So I'm kind of torn about it. If you've cloth diaper, leave down below like any suggestion that you may have. Like do you think it's worth it if you're not going to go all in? That's my question because I don't see us going all in. This is Wonder Nation, which I also saw a lot of there. How adorable. It's just a little newborn sleeper. I figured I should get a couple newborn pieces because I don't feel like I didn't get too many newborn things with Lila. So I just want to have like a few sleep pieces because I don't see myself really dressing the baby a lot during the day. It'll be like close to summer and I want to do a lot of skin to skin. So just some like pieces for the nighttime um, will probably be what I get for that newborn phase along with some like basic onesies. So that's that's it. That's it for the little baby. Now we're gonna move on to Lila's clothes. And I got some really nice pieces here. Um, they all kind of vary between like four and five dollars each, but there's one piece, I'll show you guys first, the most expensive piece from today. This baby right here. I've been looking for a jean jacket. She has some like light jean and dark jean ja jackets, but um, I love the black jean jackets i feel like they just go with everything i mean so does regular jean but lila likes black boots 
so I think that this will look really cute with some black boot outfits. So cute. This is by Hudson. Yeah, there's some little little grungy aspects to it, little tears, little tears on the sleeve. It's so cute. And just some basic black leggings because you can't have too much of those. This is by Jessica Simpson. I really love Jessica Simpson's clothes. I always find them at like Marshalls and stuff. Um, but I haven't been shopping at those stores lately. Like every time I go, there's like no 5T clothes. This is a little old navy tank. I like the little, um, this. I don't know what it's called. But I always get her some tanks with that design since she was little. This is Baby Gap. I love Baby Gap. I did not think I was going to be a mom who loved Baby Gap. But I'm there. I feel like this is like an older shirt. Like I don't know if this is like newer stuff. This is really cute. It has like planets on it. Suns and moons. So cute. It's like a baby doll shirt. That, oh, Lila put a sticker on me. So got that from the store. And then we have Eddie Bauer. The world, the world is full of adventure. And this one says, little girls with dreams become women with a vision. Just a cutie right here. It's Old Navy. I do like Old Navy. When I don't thrift, I normally order like a bunch of stuff from Old Navy. Or Zara. Like I'll hit a good Zara sale, but I haven't been loving their things lately for some reason. Alright, now this is really cute. This is like a little summer, spring, what is this called? Like a corduroy-ish dress? And I think it's by Carter's. Yeah, just one you, but made by Carter's. It's adorable. I just like the like uh, boho feel to it. And it attaches by these little like buttons. So that's the front. And then the back. These are the colors that I really want to bring in for the baby. Like the teal, like greenish color, this mustard yellow. Um, and if it's a girl, like this pink, so pretty. I just have been loving like deep colors lately, like earthy deep colors. And then we have, this is by Lulu Rain. It's just like a little boho dress. I was thinking maybe Easter if we like do something casual. I thrift majority of Lila's clothes, but like especially pajamas. Um, I think this is just, yeah, it's just a dress no problema just a little nightgown she really loves nightgowns um and now that it's getting warmer out i want to get her one just to start the collection and then i just got her a pretty basic um cat and jack sweatshirt we seem to have a sweatshirt that looks exactly like this every single year it's either hearts or like dots or something but it's always like gold with gray um but this is just like a sweatshirt for school when it's too hot for a jacket. I'll just put a little zip up sweatshirt on her and send her on her way. This was $5. This is how I got her to come into the store with me. She was melting down already, which I knew would happen because it was really close to nap by the time we got there. So I said she can pick out a toy for her baby brother or sister. And this is what we settled on, which is really a toy for her because she loves steering wheels. But it was $4.50, so I was like, whatever. So this is cute. This was Lila's little addition to the haul. So since Lila is down for her nap right now, I figured I would do some childbirth ed and just kind of like decompress. I feel like I'm so used to, which you know we we do as parents, like when our kids are resting or doing something that is occupying them. As parents, we're so used to just like making sure there's a clean house, making sure everything is looking perfect or like jumping at the opportunity to do something as soon as our kids go down for a nap or like are occupied and I want to get out of that habit so instead of cleaning you know cleaning the entire kitchen which it's hard to look at sometimes cleaning the entire living room I'm not gonna do that I'm not gonna do that every time I have the chance to do something for myself so while I have like the next 15, 20 minutes, I'm gonna do some childbirth education. I'm moving through it pretty well. I'm doing indie births, um, 13 moons for childbirth ed. I feel like it's very supportive of where I'm at mentally. So I just wanna stay on top of it and make it a priority. Um, so I have my little raspberry leaf tea here and my little tea crackers. And I'm just gonna chill and decompress until nap time is over. Yeah. 
Our cloud. Oh.